Continuing our discussion about ratios and proportions, we're going to now talk about percents, and we're going to figure out how does this kind of tie into the whole situation. Okay, and so here's what a percent is. A percent is just an equivalent fraction where the denominator is 100. Right? And so the idea is that if I were to you know, want to compare uh, you know, the number of people that got a certain score on an IQ test, and I was comparing it, you know, one tiny little county that's got like a thousand people in it, and I wanted to compare that to like China that has millions of people in it, right? I'd end up with a problem because it's like, how do I compare, you know, 300 out of a thousand people and, you know, a million people out of a hundred million people, right? So these are unlike groups, right? One of them's really large, one of them's really small. So percents are used to kind of standardize everything. We're going to say, you know what, let's take that really small group, let's scale them to a hundred, let's take that really big group, let's scale them to a hundred, and then let's compare our new equivalent fractions. So it's a way of standardizing everything so we can compare. But the idea is basically the same as what we did in the last couple sections is that I'm going to change two-fifths which is a ratio, right, into an equivalent fraction, but I want to make sure that the denominator is 100 because that's our standard. Percent literally means per 100, right? And this, the word cent, if you think about like the word century, is 100 years. A cent is, one, there are 100 cents in a dollar, right? So the idea is that that C-E-N-T just means 100. So we're, we're standardizing it to per 100 of something. So uh, what we're going to do is exactly the same. We're going to say, how do I take two-fifths and make it a percent? Well, I'm going to make sure that instead of the denominator being 5, the denominator is going to be 100, and we're going to use a proportion to figure out what should go right there. So if I cross-multiply, well, like we did in the last section on proportions, 5 times x is 5x, 2 times 100 is 200, and now I'm going to do a quick division problem, and just for the sake of time, I'm not going to actually write it all out. Uh, but we're going to get a 40, right? Because 5 times 20 is 100, so 2 times 20 would give me that 40, right? So what we're saying is that 2 fifths is the same as 40%, right? So I would say I can put a 40 there and get the equivalent fraction. I could also write this as 40%, right? So it ties in to what we were talking about with fractions and decimals. We're saying 40 out of every 100, and that would be our equivalent ratio, okay? So we're going to just talk about how do I uh, convert between fractions and percents, and then decimals and percents, because they all really represent the same thing, some part of an entire whole. Okay? So to convert a fraction to a percent, we can set it up as a proportion and make sure that the denominator becomes 100. Okay? And if I want to convert from a percent back to a fraction, we're just going to place it over 100. So looking at the examples, you'll see what we mean. So 5 sixths as a percent. Right? So it's like, how do we do that? Okay, and you, you might have learned previously that you could do 5 divided by 6, turn it into a decimal, and then turn the decimal into a percent. And that's an entirely valid way of doing it, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to go right to the definition, which says we want this to be per 100. So I don't want it to be 5 6 I want it to be something out of 100. And we want to figure out what's that something, and that's going to be our answer. So 6 times x, let's do the work over here where i got some space, 6x, 5 times 100 is 500. Okay, so I will do the division here. Okay, 6 goes into 500. Okay, we'll start by 6 into 5 doesn't go. 6 into 50 uh, goes 8 times. Okay, 8 times 6 is 48. Okay, subtract and get a 2. We're going to bring down our 0. 6 goes into 23 whole times. Okay, uh, and so that would be 18. And again, we're going to get our repeating twos happening here, right? So I'd get a 20 again. So it's 0 0.33 repeating. So we're going to say 5 sixths as a percent is 83, and I'll just say 0.3 percent, okay? So we'd say that is the percent out of 100 for 5 sixths, okay? And we can do this with any fraction. If you wanted to say like 1 half or, you know, 2 sevenths or 9 fifths, anything like that, we can just say, you know what, well, let's take that, let's turn the denominator into 100 using proportions, and that's going to be our answer, okay? So that's how I turn this first one, a fraction, into a percent. Set it up as a proportion, solve so the denominator is equal to 100, that's your answer. To convert it back into a fraction, it's actually pretty straightforward. If I give you a, a uh, percent like 80 percent, I'm just going to say, well, that means 80 out of 100. And I can write that. Here's 80 percent. 80 
out of 100. And then typically we'll reduce this, right? So the first step in our reducing it is we're going to chop off a 0, chop off a 0, right? That's like dividing by 10. And then 8 tenths, I can divide this by 2 and divide this by 2 and get 4 fifths, okay? So if 80% is the same as 4 fifths, 83.3% is the same as 5 sixths, right? So that's the kind of... Um, using the definition, if you really understand what a percent is, these are pretty straightforward. Make sure the denominator equals 100, and then you have a percent. Take this number and put it over 100, and then you have the fraction. Okay? Uh, to convert to a decimal to a percent, it's actually pretty straightforward as well. Okay? So we're just going to multiply and divide by 100. Okay? So if I have a, a fraction, I'm sorry, if I have a decimal, and I want to make it a percent, I want this to be over 100. Because, and again, here's the idea. This is technically over 1, and I would like this to be over 100. So I'm going to say times 100 times 100. So we're going to use our good friend, the, the 10. You know, the fact that this is all uh, based on 10s to help us out. If I say, uh, let, let's go back to the last unit and say if I had the point number 0 0.2 and I said times 1,000 or 10,000, we had a rule that said if you multiply by multiples of 10, we can move the decimal point for every zero we have. So I just move this over four times and get 2,000, right? So we can use that here. If I say multiply by a th 100 to turn this into a percent, I'm going to say two decimal places uh, would make that, oops, excuse me, moving it over two decimal, uh, multiplying by 100 is the same as moving it over two decimal places. This is 21 or 29.71%, okay? Right? Excuse my inability to talk today. All right, so what I did to summarize, to convert from a decimal to a percent, multiply by 100. But the quick way to multiply by 100 is to just move the decimal point two times, and I ended up with 29.71%. To divide by 100, we're also going to move the decimal point, but just the other way, right? So we're going to say this is 11.2% divide by 100 moves the decimal point two to the left, and I get 0 0.112, right? So using the fact that uh, that percents deal with 100, which is a nice multiple of 10, we can use our moving the decimal rule uh, to, to quickly convert between decimals and percents. So let's just do a quick summary, okay? I'm going to use my blank page here. If I had something like 11.2%, and I wanted to make this a decimal, Right, so let's do decimal. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to move this two uh, units to the left. Okay. 0. 0.112. If I had 11.2% and I wanted this to be a fraction, I can just say 11.2 over 100. Right. And then here's an interesting thing. I don't really want there to be a decimal in a fraction. That's kind of mixing things up. Right. So if I wanted to go to a fraction, okay, I'm going to say... Uh, times 10 will make this uh, 11 or 112, and then times 10 on the bottom would be 1,000. Right? That would be a kind of a way of working through this. Okay? If I had a fraction, like, I don't know, 2 fifths, and I wanted this to be a percent, I'm going to say, let's do equivalent fractions, okay? make it over 100. And again, I'm not going to go through this. We'll just say this is 40. Okay, so this would be 40%. Okay? And then if I wanted to go from a percent back into, a fra I'm sorry, for, uh, a decimal into a, a percent, so 0 0.127, okay, and turn that into a percent, we just say times 100, right, to get a percent, which really means multi moving this over two times, this is 12.7%, okay? So doing this conversion is actually extremely important because these all mean the same thing, right? 12.7% and 0.127 and 127 over 1,000, they all mean the same thing. And so we need to be able to jump from one to the other so that we have the ability to, to perform all of our operations and use decimals, percents, and fractions interchangeably uh, as we're doing our math.